Scorpio, welcome to a new series that I am doing. This is about love and relationships on all levels. So we're going to look at family, friends, romantic relationships, partners, singles, new love, old love, re reconciled love, and most of all, you. Whatever love you have within you. I'm going to start it off on this side and then I will extend the detail on the Vimeo side. Make sure you check out your moon and rising. Sometimes that can give the whole picture of what you can expect over this next couple of weeks time frame. So let's see what they want you to, to know. Yeah, we have... <clears throat> This is about the devil. This is about addictions. This is about obsessive compulsive overthinking, fear, addictions to anything, addictions to chemicals, to shopping, whatever it may be. But I'm actually getting for a lot of you, this is about fear. Now, we also have the page of wands, communication, taking action in your life and moving in a forward direction. And right next to it, we do have the eight of cups. So we're definitely going to take some action here. What I'm actually getting for this group of you is you may be dealing with a situation where your child is getting ready to go out on their own. This is a, this would be a young adult old enough to go out on their own, you might be fearing, you might be fearing the worst for your child. This is really about trust that you raised them right, that you did a great job with your child. And if you express that to them, it could be very, very beneficial because here's your child getting ready to take action and start their brand new life. They're willing to work very, very hard on their finances. They've got terrific skill set. They may actually be going to college for some of them. For others, they may just be going out and putting that skill set that you help them acquire into uh, good use where they're making an income from this. And we have the hermit. This is about going within and using your inner wisdom. So for some of you, this is really about you p focusing on knowing that your child is going to be okay. They are an adult. They're going to move forward. But we'll pull detail on this and see what's going to take place with them. For another group of you, <clears throat> this is about you overcoming fear, overcoming your own addictions, addictions to move forward. You might have fear of success. You could have fear of relationships in general, about taking action toward a relationship. Now, for some, this is actually about you having fear to walk away from a current relationship that's very toxic. There's a, a feeling of being chained and stuck to this person. Like maybe you don't know how to get out of this relationship. Again, go within yourself because you've got the Ace of Pentacles here. This is a brand new beginning. Ace of Pentacles covers everything on the material plane. So you could be worried about your finances. Considering that you have the Three of Pentacles, this is saying you do have a good skill set among you in order to be able to go out. Now, the last card that came out for you is the Hierophant. This is about going within, not listening to other people's, the socialized belief systems. If somebody tells you you can't, let that go because you know what you can do. You have the strength to overcome this for sure. And again, we're going to pull detail on this. For another group of you, this is a partnership where you and your partner are not getting along at all. You're in an actual marriage and you're thinking about walking away. You or your partner are thinking about walking away, starting a new beginning. And there is some worry in this particular scenario. There is some concern, like maybe you won't be able to afford to go out on your own. How am I going to pay my, my bills? 
How am I going to take care of me? Plan for the future. And again, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, it's definitely should be very, very good. Again, we're gonna pull the detail on this. I don't see that you're actually going to take action. You're contemplating on taking the action, overcoming the fear. For some of you, this is a good thing for you to walk away from this relationship. For another group of you, you may be meeting a brand new person. This brand new person um, is willing to put in all the energy and effort, the two of you together, to create a very beautiful relationship that could actually lead to marriage. And we'll pull the detail on all of these, okay? But basically, go within. There might be a little bit of fear associated with this new love. And I'm seeing that you already met this person. For a small group of you, they're coming in over the next two weeks, but this is pretty well already moving into a permanent relationship, right? That can lead to marriage. And don't, don't fear it. Don't fear it. Don't run away, okay? Open up yourself in order to take this. And again, we'll look at further detail on this um, and see if it's actually gonna head in a direction that is copacetic with you. For another group of you, you do have somebody returning from the past. Now you may have walked away from them or they walked away from you in the past. You feel stuck to this person. You feel like that connection is there. For some, this is definitely a soulmate relationship. And you are very well aware of it. And you're willing to put in work and effort, but there is a definite amount of fear because when they left you, it may have thrown you upside down. Again, when I pull the detail out, we're really gonna see what took place within that relationship to make you or your partner walk away. And for some, it is the soulmate. And for others, it's not a soulmate. It's just a, a special relationship for another group of you you walked away from a toxic environment this could be a family unit where there was a lot of toxicity going on and it looks like you may have had your own children so maybe you were living with mom and dad for a short while trying to get back on your feet trying to rebuild or start a brand new beginning, moving in a beautiful direction. What I'm seeing is there could be some socialized belief systems here where they're telling you what to do, how to do it, and it may not be really working for you. Um, so you walked away from this, but right now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pull some detail on this and find out what's going on in each of these scenarios. So if you like this video, please thumbs up. And if you like my style, please subscribe to my channel. That's what keeps this channel up and going. If you click the link below, this is Love and Relationships. It will shoot you over to Vimeo and we'll take a look at this in further detail for you. So I will see you on the other side.